I'm going to show how to build this birdhouse out of a hollowed out piece of birch. Let's get started. We're going to make a, uh, yeah, we're thinking a wren birdhouse out of this piece of birch that's hollow. This is just the bark, but this is actually pretty waterproof. They make canoes and stuff. Native Americans made canoes out of this material. They're pretty amazing. And uh, right now it's sitting a little bit crooked, but speed square, please. We're going to have to square it up just the speed square. Thank you. I'm going to square off that bottom. We're thinking taking a speed square and taking a pencil and marking and try and get this as perpendicular as we can. And then just use a uh, X-Acto blade probably be best to cut that because the blade is so thin and then looking at putting probably a three-quarter board setting this on here drawing around it around circle and then make it just a little bit smaller so it'll it'll fit inside of here that'd be the bottom and then for the top we're thinking of putting a roof on something like this but to secure it probably going to take another three-quarter board cut around circle and then slide that down to about here cut this off here here the roof would go on then with that three-quarter board down here the roof could be secured down here on the bottom uh, need to look up what size hole we need to cut and that would be cut with an exacto blade also and then the distance up from the bottom there's certain recommended things for that so we'll get working on that and see how it turns out on this uh, birch um, birdhouse dad set the uh, the hollow birch on a three-quarter board and then he took a pencil and drew down inside to get the outline and it, it's not perfectly round and then uh, he ended, ended up he had to clean out inside of the birch bark he used a screwdriver and a pliers to get the extra wood that was still inside there and uh, looking in the top he put a three-quarter board in there too which will be used to attach some thinner boards for the roof and he had to do that same thing too with the pliers and the screwdriver to clean out that extra wood. And here's a piece of wood that'll be going on for the roof. And then he's going to put cedar shingles on there. And then to attach it, he'll run a screw down through this roof board and then down into that three-quarter board. And we're going to use a uh, probably a quarter to do a hole for the entrance hole for the birds. And this will be for, a quarter is the size for a house wren and a chickadee. Though this house I think would be too small for a chickadee, but house wren might build in it. So, so we'll end up seeing what happens there. And, and this one, yeah, has a big uh, fungus on it, but Dad likes that, so he's going to put that right on the front. And uh, he's going to put in some screws around the bottom, probably three of them, and use brass so they don't rust. And just to hold that board in in case the birch changes sizes up. And then, yeah, one up it towards the top, too, to hold that three-quarter board in. And he used uh, just an X-Acto knife to cut and a utility knife to cut the roof angle. And then to cut the bottom off square. The, the roof isn't perfectly flat. He's, he's going to have to clean that up a bit. But that's that's pretty easy fix, so... Uh, it's looking good so far. So on the bottom, Dad cut out a piece of pine, three quarter inches, put it up, and then he used the tight bond three glue to hold that in there. And then he also cut a piece for here, and he put glue in there to hold that real well. And he also, he actually has two houses he was working on at the same time. He had enough material and also use some brass plated wire nails 
on this one to hold in the bottom and also we put a few on the top just for a little extra added strength these are just half inch long and uh, he put on half of the roof so here you can see down there's the three-quarter board and he's actually already drilled holes for screws to run through this is the other half of the roof screws are run through they're countersunk in so then the nails or the, excuse me the screws are th flat then so this one will go on on here and then he's putting on cedar shingles and uh, this one's not the right but it's they're kind of like this all right yeah, oh yeah here he just gave me a, really a small one and it ends up looking really nice i'll show you the finish but how are you putting these on you run a oh you're saying you you had to put tippets so that the top is flat and then oh you put a okay he put a uh, starter shingles up in there to start the first row and then how are you oh and here's the whoops and here's the finished finished birdhouse it really turned out nice that roof looks great he put some boston bridge shingles on there and uh excellent. and then on his fascia he used tiny little sticks and cut did you cut those in half or they're fully round but just glued fully on? Round, yeah. They're fully round, okay. And I read years ago not to put a stick for the birds to land because what it ends up happening, this is actually the size for chickadee and a house wren. And if you put a stick on, what will happen is other birds will come and perch on the stick and they won't let the bird that's living go in or out of the house. So they're much they're, they're supposed to be better with no stick on them so we didn't put a stick on this one's got kind of a mushroom. that's not a mushroom that's a some type of uh growth grow yeah what are those called i can't think of the name right now it's not a mushroom it's mm. well i wonder if it's a form i, I don't know fungus. but maybe it's fungus maybe yeah um but turned out looking really good and then you're using a quarter inch dowel and a quarter inch, just a bit bigger than a quarter inch. It covers it nice. And uh, put that around the hole. You glued that on? Yep. Did it's you put that, how did you hold it on there? With with these. Oh, these clothespins? These type of clothespins. Okay. See, they, they work out pretty nice, but you have to put them all the way on. And then you put two of them on after you glue it, and it holds it in place to dry. Okay, whatever the recommended dry time is for yeah, the that's, glue. That's kind of tricky, mm -hmm. but it works. And then you cut angles on the other one just at the top. Everything's 90 except at the top. You just cut an angle yeah. here. Okay, so in a, the other house right there is yeah, there's that close. angle. Okay. And then I put those screws in to hold it. Mm -hmm. Right in, yep. boom, boom. Yep. And this goes on. And... How did you put the shingles on? The shingles, you start out with these little pieces of wood. They're just shingles, but they're longer pieces. And you put those on as a starter. You glue those across the whole way. And you were saying that you put the house, like, yeah. how did you get it and keep it level to hold the... Uh, I just put shing. it in my lap. And that was... And yeah, I, but then you just left it there until the glue dried? Yeah, or? no, I put the glue on, and then I put these on. Mm -hmm. Once these are on, the glue won't run anymore. Oh, okay. But But until then... 
So you get all, that on. All the shingles you put on just like this. Yep, and then and, you okay. put the glue on, and then you put a shingle on all the way across. And you have to put the glue, as you go find out, on both this surface and on the roof. And you have to measure and get a line drawn so that this top line of, of glue goes right on there just so it goes just below the line well you're drawing a line that shows that where the top of the shingles goes yeah okay yeah and then just work your way up with the shingles yeah starting at the bottom and then mm -hmm. go up good okay so that's uh the basis and then this one is all finished, Miss. and uh, that's how the shingles look. And they're small with big fingers. They're kind of a project to get them put on. Yeah, that looks good. Takes though. a while. Mm -hmm. Once you get done, it's it's kind of a nifty little house. But I don't mm -hmm. intend to build another one because they're too small. Mm, too hard to work on when they're that small. Mm -hmm, okay. But I use uh, my knife. And once I put the shingle on and I set it in the glue, then I use I use the knife to either go up or down or sideways. Okay. And then I then I don't get more glue on my finger, and then I touch the shingle, and then the whole shingle comes off. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Okay. Good, thanks, looks good. Mm -hmm. Be sure and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. Have a great day.